What's up guys, my name is Pro Road Bear, you can call me Ben, and today we're going to look into how you as an affiliate can get transcoding on your Twitch streams. Just before we jump in, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, it really helps the channel out a lot. We'll be doing more reviews, streaming tips, and gaming news, and stuff like that as well, so keep your eyes peeled for more content coming to the channel very soon. You can also come hang out with me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Pro Rogue Bear, I'm streaming most of the time, I might even be live now, so come hang out and uh, let me know what you thought. With all of that out of the way, let's jump into the video. So today we're talking about transcoding, and first of all I just want to outline why it's even important to consider this anyway. By default, partners on Twitch will have transcoding options turned on guaranteed every time. And the transcoding options from when you're streaming at 1080p or 936p or whatever your resolution is on OBS, transcoding just allows you to be able to scale that down. So to the viewer on the Twitch client side of things, if they're in a like a poor signal area or something like that, like their, their, their bandwidth isn't that great, then with transcoding, they'll actually have the option to lower it. So they might be able to lower it to 720p maybe even 540p or something like that, right? The, they'll, they'll be able to lower the resolution, which will mean the, the stream for them will run smoother. And it's, um, it's an individual viewer by viewer case, but it all depends on whether you your stream at that point has transcoding or not. So partners always have transcoding, great. What about affiliates? Now affiliates, they have it sometimes. And it's a little bit random how, how you get it. I'm gonna show you ways to get it guaranteed um, to make sure you get it before you're like while you're starting your stream and that's what this video is all about um but affiliates don't get it just by hitting the live button um sometimes that sometimes you're lucky and that happens and you just get picked and that's that other times you'll see you just have the source resolution as your only option and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to do this now for all you affiliates out there it's going to be very useful if you have a starting soon screen or something like that I'm actually going to stop and start your stream a few times while you've just hit that live button. So what I want you to do is in your OBS or Streamlabs, whatever it is you use, you're, you're ready, you've got your stream title already, you've got your tags and all that kind of stuff. You're, you're about to hit the go live button. You're gonna open up your stream and you might already do this anyway. You might have your stream up anyway or your creator dashboard or whatever it might be on your Chrome browser or whatever it is you use on another screen. And let's move us over to some Twitch channels that are live now that I've just picked randomly. I'm gonna show you what you're gonna be looking for. Right, so we're on Twitch right now. Um, I've just picked Final Fantasy XIV as the directory just because it was the first one there for me. And what we're looking for here is I've just picked out two random people at the moment just on their, on their stream. So I don't know them, I don't follow them. I haven't seen any of their content before. Now, this one right here, what you want to see is on your own stream this is imagine this is your own stream you've just hit the live button your starting soon screen is is going or whatever you want to hit the cog down here on the settings and you'll see the quality now if it just shows this it just shows auto and then your source so that might say 720 source that might say 1080 source 936 source, like like whatever it might say if it only has those two options you do not have transcoding what I want you to do is hit your like stop live button, like stop going live, Switch, press it, press it again. And that will just make you go live again. That'll basically stop your live stream and then you'll go live again. What you're doing is you're gonna be doing this until you get this, something that looks like this, where you can see you've got your source, you also have auto, but then you have these lower options as well, 160, 360, 480, 720. Now, if you only stream at 720p source, then you'll, you won't have 1080p as, a, as an option. It doesn't go above, it will just do your highest and then the divisible amounts below that. So if you do 1080p 60 like this person has done, then I can switch between doing 1080, I could, if I was in like, I was struggling and it was, was buffering, I could drop it down to 360, I could drop it down to 160 even, which, um, yeah, doesn't, you know, that's, that's, that's desperate measures. You, you really want to be there <laughs> and support. Um, but you can, you can also leave it on auto and it will, it will sort itself out to the right, the right one that you want it to be on. 
but you can you can have a look here and just just see if this is here then you're golden you've got transcoding you will not lose transcoding until you uh stop the stream so if that makes sense you literally just press the go live button check in another browser do you have transcoding if yes then you're great sometimes sometimes i get that first time now in terms of frequency i would say the most i've had to start and restart my stream is about five times i think i don't think it's ever been more than that and normally i can get lucky and i get it first time and it's like great that saves me it saves me having to do that um but sometimes two or three times so that i would say that's that's the average um where it's like oh okay I, I just have the one option let's just stop the stream start the stream and it's literally just i've got it on my elgato but on my stream deck but you can do it on obs as well just hit start you've hit start streaming already just hit stop streaming and that's all good now the reason why i said having a starting screen is useful is because obviously you're going to be that the stream is going to be stop starting for the first like minute while you're just trying to trying to get the transcoding to uh, to kick in so you don't want to necessarily start straight away with your with your base like hey guy and then the cutting and everything like that like you know you're, you're best just uh, having some kind of like just a timer or something or, or, or something like that where it's just starting soon and um the twitch notifications when you hit the go live like the notification that goes out it drops out randomly over the first five or so minutes so you might have some people that do get the notification they click on it and by the time they get there you're you're live but you stop streaming or whatever um i haven't really had any feedback on that being a bad thing or anything and most people start to drop in in you know two three four minutes and beyond once the video in that very first minute a lot of people aren't aren't even getting there just yet so um it's a great time to do it right at the very beginning and the great thing with this is that you don't lose transcoding at all so once you've got it that entire stream will continue to do it and the bonus here is that it also works for your vods so that's also another another bonus thing if you want to then pull off your vods later your vods will also have transcoding as well which will um which will give you those options if you're going to make extra content out of them and, and you need to have any variations there on the resolutions now i'm not sure if you're not an affiliate if you can even get transcoding i think at that point it truly is random if there's just any left over this might work if you're so if you're not affiliate and you're not a partner um and so you're just a normal kind of just twitch user that started streaming um give this a go see if it works i wouldn't spend maybe too much time doing it though because again i'm not 100 sure if you're even guaranteed it i know affiliates aren't guaranteed it but you can kind of guarantee it by doing this method that i just showed you um i'm not sure if the same thing works for non-affiliates there we go just a nice and short one from me today hopefully that was useful um if you've got any questions just please feel free to put them in the comments below let me know what things you'd like to see as well if there's any other like little um tips tricks or tech stuff or anything like that you'd like to see um around streaming or twitch and stuff like that um always welcome to uh to put forward your suggestions Remember that you can jump into the Discord as well. There'll be uh, the little little link link below you can copy. Um, also in the description below. Remember to hit like and subscribe if you liked it. Um, if you disliked it, let me know as well. Just drop a, drop a dislike. Feel free to come hang out on Twitch as well. Remember it's twitch.tv forward slash pro rogue bear. And um, yeah, come see what we're playing. That's all from me. Have a great one. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.